So hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. So guys, if you're watching this, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit the bell notification para po updated kayo. At the same time po, please don't forget to share para po makita din po ng iba. So guys, yung pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is tungkol po, tungkol pa rin po sa DFA. Ha, <laughs> walang katapusan pong DFA. So guys, yung ngayon naman po yung pag-uusapan natin since marami na tayong topic na nagawa. So ngayon yung pag-uusapan natin is about po sa wrong information na na-encode nyo doon sa application. So, mamano po bang dapat namin gawin kasi na wrong po ang pag-encode ng birth of place or na wrong po ang pag-encode ng last name or any wrong information na na-encode po doon sa application form nyo. Tapos, uh, tuturuan ko po kayo how you're going to correct it. So, please stay tuned and watch this. Wait! I forget to tell you guys that we have a Focus Travel and Tours. We do cater international and local airplane ticket. We do assess po your online appointment for passport. We do assess for, for corrections. We do assess po for um, any NBI online. And if you want to talk to us directly and if you want to catch our attentions, please just visit our page, like and follow. And then message us directly so we can answer you as much as we can. And also, guys, um, I will link the pin, the comment section below, and also the the form, the link of the form that you have to uh, correct your application form. I will link it in the comment section, din po. So, guys, please enjoy, and I hope you will learn this video that I'm going to share to you. Guys, first po, kailangan natin pumunta sa Google. Tapos, nung makikita niya po si Google, nakikita niyo po ito, search si Google or type a URL. So, need po natin i-type yung uh, URL ng corrections. So, ito po. Type po natin itong online app form that passport that the page and then enter po. So, ayan. As you can see here, naroon tayong nakikita na online passport application system. Guys, please don't forget get to read the important reminders para po aware kayo upon, uh, kapag tinatanong po kayo. So, next po is click po natin yung proceed. Ayan. As you can see here, sa application type, as you can see here, application type, personal information, parental contact summary. So, this time guys, yung gagawin nyo po is itatama nyo yung mali na information na ginamit nyo na na-encode nyo doon sa application form. So, halimbawa, if you are new applicant, renewal, or loss of passport. So, let us try uh, new applicant. Let's click proceed. Ayan. So, when you do proceed, guys, yan po yung nakikita nyo. The short name, given name, all po. But this time, may mga question dito. Did you ever lose your Philippine passport? Or are you currently citizen of another country? Or have you ever have you ever served in any father uh, foreign government? So it depends na po sa inyo kung ano po yung sasagot nyo. If ever ano po, as long as you have to complete all the information. Tapos make sure guys na ang information that you are going to fill up is tama na this time, correct na. Kasi the purpose of this is you are going to correct the wrong information that you have included sa application form nyo. So, para po mas madali na po sa inyo during your appearance doon po sa DFA. So, guys, um, after nyo po ma-fill up itong lahat, just have to click the next. And then, the next, you have to click the next. Yung next naman is about your parents. And then, next is about your contact. And then, ipapakita po nila yung summary. So, so, ipapakita po nila yung summary, guys. Pag once napakita po nila yung summary, please take note po na you have to review all the information na tama na po lahat. Kasi nga po, as I said, the purpose of this application form is to correct the wrong information that you have encoded in your information upon your application sa online. So, make sure guys na lahat po ng information na na-encode nyo is tama na po. So, as you can see here, this is the summary. Ito po siya ang summary na nakikita nyo. So, pag once sure na kayo na tama na po lahat, 
lahat ng personal information, parents information, emergency contact, then click the submit. Once you click the submit, as you can see here, there is back or submit. Once you click the submit, kasi tapos na nga kayo at tama na nga lahat ng information na include nyo, then mag-spin po yan. Mag-spin, spin po yan. And then it will take you to the PDF. Automatic na po na magda-download po yung PDF. Now, take note, kapag may mali po na information, you can click the back. So, you can click the back and then correct the information. Kapag naman po tama na lahat, then click the submit and then you can see this. So, sa nakikita nyo ngayon, meron pong PDF dyan, meron din po siyang barcode, at meron din po siyang QR code. QR code ba yan? So, during the time na pupunta kayo ng DFA during your appearance, don't forget guys, reminders, please bring this, print this one, and bring your original appointment. In case po sabihan kayo ni DFA na ma'am, you have to correct this, then you can show it to them. Or otherwise, kapag alam nyo na po na may wrong kayo at saka nag-encode na kayo nito, attach it na lang, staple it, and tell to the DFA officer na ma'am, I attach this one kasi po may wrong information po ako na na-encode upon my application. So, that's it guys. So, yun lang po guys. So, yun lang po yung dapat nyong gawin kapag may wrong uh, information kayo na na-encode doon sa application form. Para po, pagpasok nyo po sa loob, mas madali po sa inyo during your appearance. Kasi guys, nangyari po ito sa amin to my two clients. Yung nangyari po sa kanila is, yung junior po is nalagay po doon sa first name sa last name niya instead of sa first name niya tapos yung isang client ko naman yung junior nalagay sa first name niya subalit wala pong tuldok so kaya yung ginawa nila is nag chat po sila sa akin dali dali tapos nagpa fill up po ng form tapos sabi ko naman yes um it does work. Tapos, alam ko na marami pong nagtatanong, maraming nagmi-message sa akin, marami pong nag-comment sa YouTube video ko na what if po, uh, na wrong po yung information ng last name, na wrong po yung information ng birth, na wrong po yung information ng birthplace. So, guys, ito na po yung sagot ng iyong mga tanong. So, I did this para po makatulong sa inyo. And I hope po um, it will help you a lot. So guys, please don't forget, dalhin nyo po yung original confirm online appointment nyo, yung papers na 3 pages. Tapos pag may wrong na na-encode po kayo, fill up the process that I teach you. Tapos ipaprint nyo din po, tapos i-attach nyo doon. Sabihan nyo na you have uh, miss... Uh, Ang tawag nito, you have encoded a wrong information and you correct it already by uh, filling up this application through this uh, online appointment form, application form. So, that's it guys. Um, alam naman natin na we are not perfect. So, especially if we are doing application using our cell phone and nagmamadali po tayo kasi hinahabol po natin yung oras. So, for you to make it easy, I made this video. Para po makatulong sa inyo. So guys, if you have some questions, please, please don't forget, don't hesitate. I mean, don't hesitate to leave your comment down below. And I swear, I try to answer as much as I can if I am not busy. And uh, also guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And kung meron pa po kayong dapat na ipaturo, like what content should I next to do, please leave your comment down below. So, thank you for watching guys and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye!